Hello everybody, um, this is Dumb Computers, and this is my first video. Um, today I'm going to be helping you for something that could come in handy for a few different reasons. Um, my reason today is um, like school projects that have to be done on computers. Um, I have a way that I've used a few times to help set the due date back so I can like work on my project more. Or I'm sometimes a procrastinator, so if I didn't really do it, um, I get a couple of days to finish it, and um, uh, let me show you how it works. Okay, so let me just open up Notepad. This is what you're gonna need, and uh, I'll just open up the blank one. Okay, um, so as you see, if you look over here on the screen, you can see that. I already have one, so this is what I use for my science project, but obviously I didn't use it like this. Um, so you have a notepad, and you're going to need to do this. You're going to put this in. This is just like, kind of like code, and here where I'm highlighting, you can change the text of what each box says on each thing. Like, I just have an example. And uh, okay, so well, once you have this, I'll put the the whole code in the description. Um, you go to save as and you save it as whatever. In this case I'll I'll just do science project dot VBS. That's what you have to save it in you have to. Now save as tape doesn't really matter. I just save it to text. And I'm gonna save it to my documents. Okay, so just go to the documents and here it is, sounds better. Now, there's this little script on here, so, but uh, um, you're going to need to change the logo. I'll, I'll show you how in a second, but um, for right now, I'm just going to show you how this whole thing works with the code. You do when you click on it, um, just the options here, and now. This is all part of the code that you type in. If you if you click the abort button, um, it says just aborting, and I'm just gonna re open it. If you click the retry button, it says please restart computer and try again. And if you click the ignore button, it says recommended restart computer and try again. Those are just what I had for my project, so that uh my teacher would believe that. It it's real. I did. I think I did a pretty good job on making that look real, like an actual computer. Um, so to make it not look like this script, which I'll give you a bigger view, this that doesn't look like a project. So you just um, you can now create a new folder here and name it Science Project. And I'm just gonna drag this thing into the science project folder and I have this now I'm going to right click on science project and click create a shortcut so I have a shortcut to um, science project now because I had to make this because you can't change the picture it was just a normal so with the shortcut you go to properties change icon and there's a whole bunch of different icons you can put instead of the scroll now I use this one because it kind of looks like a folder there's something in it, just let me find it here. Uh, here it is. And now I rename it to Science Project. And I will rename this to like Math and Work or something. And move this out of this file, file to Documents. So that when she um yeah, okay now so uh, when my teacher would look at this she doesn't see the scroll thing so now when you just click on the science project it just links it to the other one you know it's the same thing so really uh, I have no science project here but she thinks it's a science project so when you click on it looks like a real error. It's just pretty cool. It comes in you pretty useful for things and you could just rename it. But you can put this on like a USB or external hard drive and bring it to school. It'll work on 
pretty much everything Windows, I believe. I've only used it on Windows XP and Windows 7. But, yeah. Okay, this was my tutorial. And I hope that this comes in handy for you. Hey guys, um, I just forgot to mention that um, since this is my first video, just uh, give me some feedback on any improvements that I can make. Or anything, I mean, anything that I can do to improve the quality of my videos. Um, and uh, let me know if this worked for you, because this worked for me a few times. Um, send me um, anything saying if you can make this better, or if you found a different way to make message boxes or anything like that. Um, comment, rate, subscribe, view my channel, it's all good, okay? Um, thank you.